to our channel. So today we'll be reading another little golden book called Disney's Moana. Even when she was little, Moana of Mansa Nui loved the ocean. She also loved learning, listening to Grandma Tala's stories. Moana's favorite was about the trickster demigod Maui, who stole the heart of the Mother Island to feed it. According to Grandma, Maui upset the balance of nature by stealing the heart. Moana's dad, Chief Tiri, believed the ocean was dangerous. The islanders were, were forbidden to sail beyond the reef. But little Moana felt a deep connection to the ocean and to all the creatures who belonged in it. She always wanted to help. And the ocean noticed. It gave Moana a special gift. When Chief Tui picked up Moana, she dropped the gift. Luckily, someone else picked it up. It was Grandma Tala. She believed the ocean's gift was the heart of Te Fiti. As she grew, Moana worked hard to help lead her people and follow her, her father's rules. But when Moana turned 16, Grandma Tala took her aside. It's time to learn who you were meant to be. Grandma said she led Moana to a hidden cavern full of ancient, ancient, canoes. ancient canoes. When Moana started drumming, bam, 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 she could feel the spirits of her ancestors. ancestors. They were wayfinders, voyagers, voyagers on the ocean. Grandma Tala's last wish was for Moana to journey across the sea, find Maui, the ocean. across the ocean. the ocean, find Maui, and restore the heart of Tafiti. So, with the heart safe inside her necklace, Moana set sail. But sailing on the open ocean was not easy for Moana. Ex especially when a storm hit. Moana and her boat washed up on a faraway island where she met Mary, the demigod. He was not what Moana expected. Mary stole Moana's boat, but when he, tr <coughs> he tried to sail away, the ocean made sure Moana went with him. The ocean wanted them to work together. Mary promised to help return the heart of Tafiti only if Moana helped him find his magic fish hook. But first they had to pass the Kukamola, an army of wild cocoa coconut club bandits. <coughs> then they had to drive into Lotaya to reach the, re realm, of the realm of monsters. Thinking fast, Moana tricked Tamota, a crab monster, and she and Mary returned the missing bishop. <coughs> Along the way, Maui taught Moana how to refine which is to use the sun, the stars, and the moon. The moon and the ocean current, current, current to, navigate. to navigate. And when their journey became too difficult, the spirit of Grandma Tala returned. Know who you were meant to be, Grandma. Spirit told Moana. When, Mary, when Moana and Maui finally reached 
Tafiti, the, mon- the mother island, was gone. Instead, there was a lava monster named Tika. <coughs> Mary and Moana tried everything, but they could not defeat Tika. Then Moana had an idea. Summoning all, summoning, summoning all her courage, Moana gave the heart of to Tika, heart to Tika, and Tika remembered who she was meant to be. She was Tafiti, with her heart restored. Tafiti bloomed once again. The world was back in balance. Moana and Mary said goodbye. Their journey together was complete. Mary transferred into a transformed hawk, transformed into a hawk and flew away. It was time for Moana to return to her people. The young girl from Matanui knew now knew exactly who she was meant to be. She was a daughter, a leader, and a wayfinder. She was Moana. Hope you guys enjoyed Disney's Moana and stay tuned for more book reads coming soon. Bye. Take care. Be safe. Bye. Bye.